It's your Smoky Mouth meteorologist, Paul Poteet, the snowman. It came and it came and it came in places like this. Dan Brown on the trail, on the scene with a picture there. The biggest snow totals from last weekend's deluge, 22 inches. Mount LeConte recorded that, 15 inches around Newfoundland Gap. Lisa Sims with a picture from that area for us. Thank you, Lisa. Tom Mulvaney snapped one closer to lower elevations, Gatlinburg. Tom, we appreciate that. The National Weather Service also tweeted out a similar kind of setup where you could see fall and winter sort of colliding in the colors there. And Betty, we thank you for that picture from Ware's Valley. And Ware's Valley will figure into some of our travel suggestions for you in just a few moments. You do have to be ready for maybe not another round of snow, but another round of really cold air. Looks like a piece of the energy from up near the polar parts of the world will break off over the weekend and make its way into the eastern part of the United States in the early part of next week into midweek. Stand by for that. We need to warm things up somehow. Maybe, yeah, put some chili on. Thank you. That should do it. Chili is one of the eight unique ways to celebrate Smoky Mountains Winterfest, and that's coming soon. It includes Gatlinburg Winter Magic and Chili Cook-Off. There's the Veterans Parade, the Festival of Trees, all the details in the blog section of visitmysmokies.com, where you will also find the top three things to do in Ware's Valley this winter, which include fishing, hiking, of course, is one of the big things you can do also. And I would advise you to check ahead, especially if you're going to be hiking in a higher elevation still for the next few days, because we have all of that snow in those places that saw more than a foot that will be doing some melting thanks to these temperatures, which will be back up closer to average at least until Thursday and Friday through next weekend, we take another tumble. Sun should be out for the first part of the week, and then a cold front brings showers Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, and maybe into Thursday. Behind that front, drier and cooler as we head into next weekend, temperatures Only into the low 50s and close to freezing at night. Glad you made it through all of that okay, and there's still plenty going on when you visit mysmokies.com.